and welcome to today's morning message. So let's see what comes out for the start of this week. Um, so we're going to use a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle first of all, get us a card, and then we'll use Tarot to get our messages. So what is it we need to hear today? The Sun Dance. Okay, I love this card in this deck. So this is all about celebration, abundance. I've been picking up for a while that you're going to be celebrating something soon. And I have no idea what this is about, but it does feel like there's going to be something really good. Um, good news, or you're going to achieve something, some kind of milestone. I really, I keep seeing this flag, and it's like you hit this goal. You hit this very big, like, personal goal in whatever area of your life this is about. And you're going to be celebrating that. You're going to be really happy. We have the Lady of the Mirror. So we have Reflection here, Non-Judgment, the number 44. And then we have Gaia's Garden, which is all about abundance again. So we have abundance coming out twice. So today you are being guided to really hold yourself, um, you know, without judgment. Look at yourself in the mirror, be honest, reflect. But try not to judge yourself harshly. Try to forgive yourself for whatever mistakes you've made. You know, really work on releasing any negativity. Focus in on those negative thoughts you're having about yourself and start to work through them. Because... I feel like lots of you are just taking on too much, you're absorbing like a sponge, too much negativity from other people, maybe you're starting to believe your own like negative self-talk and you know, you are not what you think you are, so whatever your mind is telling you, that negative narrative, you know, you, you don't need to believe it, don't believe it because it's not true. Now, there is going to be something coming to fruition real soon, you know, we have abundance, fruition, reaping um, what you sow, so trying to pick up on a time frame but there just isn't any I really feel like this is quite open like we have all this like new energy we have this excitement I'm showing bridges here so many of you are crossing to like new places some of you are attracting new people as well and pick up on a younger male fire sign um but for lots of you it's just like there's you know all this abundance ready to harvest and it's it is collective, you know, it's going to come at different times for different people, but it's it's here, the message is coming out, and it's been coming out a lot, but, you know, you will soon be celebrating. Four of Wands flew out in reverse. So, some of you right now are working on your foundation, you don't feel like your foundation is strong enough. You know, for others of you, you really need to allow yourself to have more fun. You are not giving yourself enough time to celebrate, to have fun. If you can do that, you're going to raise your vibration so much. You're going to be enjoying yourself more. You're going to be spending time with friends. You're going to have more energy. Some of you need to literally, like, spend energy to receive that energy back. You know, dance, have fun, and you will feel like you are, um, yeah, more energetic. We have the Ten of Cups here. Five of Wands and Three of Cups. Guys, I really, really feel like lots of you right now are either in a relationship or you're entering a relationship. And there's been tension here with this Five of Wands for sure. There's been some tension, maybe even competition. Like maybe you've been dating a couple of people. But you are about to settle down here. This Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. I honestly, I feel like there's an addition to a, a family coming or like the next step in a relationship. There's something out of balance in your home life right now. So there's something out of balance in your house or your family. But there is like some new vitality, some new energy entering this situation. Let me get some clarifying cards for these because I want to make sure I get this message really accurate. Too many. So let me just get one or two more cards for this. Yes, six of wands. Okay, you are about to receive some kind of recognition. There is about to be something really successful. And I feel like this is going to be in the public eye. So you are about to come into some kind of success here. 
which you're going to be sharing with people on social media. You're going to be sharing this with friends, with family, um, even with strangers. I feel like you're going to receive some kind of good news or what you're going to celebrate. You're going to be celebrating it on a public platform. So I really see you posting like a status update about this. Now, what is this about? It's something that you've been really striving for. You've really been striving towards this goal and you're soon going to be celebrating it. Yeah, we have the Four of Swords. I feel many of you are going to be taking a bit of a break as well. Many of you are going to maybe be like taking a bit of a break from work or something because you're going to come into all this abundance. You're going to have this thing to celebrate. And then I see you choosing to take a break after this. It's like you get some kind of recognition or reward. And then you have some time out just to focus on yourself or your recovery. Three of Wands, some of you are going to be choosing to go in tra to go traveling soon. Within like the next, even like six weeks or six months. But I feel like six weeks is um, kind of coming through here. So within the next kind of couple of months, let's say, you're going to be planning some kind of travel just to really have a break. Because I see you just being in this spotlight, like you've really achieved something where you just feel, right, okay, I've, you know, I've re reached this milestone, I've reached this goal, and now I just need to have a little bit of time for me. Three of Swords, okay, this is really, really interesting. You've been through some serious heartache, like a really painful separation. You've been busy healing that. And then you're about to get this offer with this Four of Cups. Some of you might even be in the middle of your healing when this offer comes. Like there's going to be an opportunity here. It's something that you definitely want to take. It is different from the others. This is an exciting opportunity. Something that you'll be celebrating. Something that you're very passionate about. This is like what has been on your mind. I'm showing that there's been something on your mind a lot lately. And you are about to see that four really manifest in your 3D life. You're really about to see that come together. It is something that you've had in the back of your mind or the front of your mind for a long, long time. You've been working really hard towards this. Now, whatever this, uh, this situation is which isn't balanced in your home life, I do see that kind of like turning around. I feel like there's gonna be more stability, more structure there, structure is coming through. But you need to have this break, guys. Some of you really, really need to have this big, you know, this big break. Like a couple of weeks just really trying to get out of your environment and, you know, explore somewhere new. Now we have the King of Wands. I feel many of you are going to be doing this travel with a person. Are you going to meet someone whilst you're doing it? Now, let's see about this King of Wands. What are his intentions? Because he's looking straight at you. There is someone here who is very, very focused. So let's see what this King of Wands is. The Hanged Man. Okay, there's someone, and I don't feel like this is you at all. I feel like this is someone who's watching you. They're going through a bit of a change right now with this Hanged Man. This person is going through an awakening of sorts. Like they are transitioning, they're changing their perspective. And I do feel that that is what's going to create this big shift. Like this person here is coming in. To kind of crown you victorious, to crown you successful, like they've been through this change in perspective, they're realising just how flexible, how approachable you are, um, they're letting go of their judgments that they have about you, because they've been through this really deep reflection, they're seeing you much more clearly, you know, they're really seeing you for who you are, um, and there's going to be something to celebrate here with this person. They're trying to like crawl their way back in, it's like they don't really want to make any big sudden movements, they're just being quite subtle about things. Oh my god, the lovers guys, wow, you can't really make this energy up at all, like the lovers, this is you and this person really making a decision about the next step, making a decision about the next level of commitment or maybe booking this travel opportunity together. I just feel something really good to celebrate in love and the home life and family soon. Um, I feel like you're going to be asking this person for something. Like I'm showing lots of question marks. So, there's, do you know what? There's something that both of you have been thinking about. Both of you have had this going over and over in your mind. But there's about to be a conversation about it where you kind of ask and answer each other's questions. And that is what brings about this celebration. 
it's like you speak about what's been on your mind but all of a sudden um you're ready to yeah eight of cups really leave something behind and move towards this fresh start this new horizon let's get one more tarot ten of pentacles you're leaving something behind so that you can move forwards with this person. And I do feel for many of you, this is about leaving behind an ex or old hurt or, you know, really doing some reflecting, really working on, you know, whatever has been holding you back personally, releasing old emotions and um, doing your healing. Because this burning bowl, it's like she's put everything she wants to release into this bowl, set it on fire and is walking away from it. So maybe that's your guidance. Maybe you're literally being guided to put everything down that you want to release, set it on fire, leave it behind because you're soon going to be moving forwards with this person. I feel a new addition to the family, a dog, a child or just bringing two families together is coming up here. You have this ten of pentacles, you're about to enter something really committed, something which is like a union, it is, it's like two people coming together but it's two families coming together as well. It feels really really good guys. So yeah, do make sure you're leaving everything behind which has been holding you back. Release those judgments you have about yourself, about relationships, about this person. Because they're very, very focused on you. This King of Wands has his eyes on the prize and you are his prize. So start getting ready because there's going to be something big happening to your home life real soon. Like within the next couple of months. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's morning message um, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another.